Right, here we are. Hey guys, Johnny again. A um, few failed attempts to at start this video, <laughs> but, um, which you won't see. But I might do um, a funny video at some point to do with my um, yeah, my bleeps videos. <laughs> um, right, nobody nicked my idea, buggers. <laughs> um, right. This video is going to be um, another CD um, collection video um, requested by Metal Mickey, that's Mike, um, from the UK. And um, yeah, uh, 570 kilometres away from where I live. Um, you have to cross some water to get to me. Um, right. Gonna uh, show you some more CDs, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and rate these as well in what I think out of ten. Um, there's gonna be some disagreements, but my video, I do what I like. Right here we go. If you saw my last video, that's uh, just been uploaded, you'll know I was doing Great White, and I got to finish that off. Um, Great White. This is um, Can't Get There From Here. And this has got a, a, an amazing cover. I love that cover. It's awesome. Um, this is actually a really good CD. I really did enjoy this. Played it a hell of a lot. Um, came out on Axe Killer. That's it. It came out in 1999. And um, there's some really good songs on here. Um, in the tradition, um, wooden Jesus, loveless age, uh, hey mister, that's cool, psychedelic hurricane, there's rolling stone, there's all sorts on there, it's, it's brilliant, um, and, uh, yeah, still got Jack Russell on, uh, vocals, and, uh, this was their last, in my eyes, their last great CD album so um, I give that uh, an 8 out of 10 for sure um, next one is uh, the best of Great White I've had this since the mid uh, mid 90s I bought this just before then this is from 93 um, and it's a brilliant best of um, there's only 10 songs unfortunately and one of them is the um, uh, Steve Marriott and Ronnie Lane song Afterglow, which is amazing. Um, oh, and it's got Once Bitten, Twice Shy, and obviously by Ian Hunter. Um, but yeah, that is a good, that is a really good CD to get hold of. That's um, this is this is quite a worn out CD. Let's put it that way. Because this is a very, very good CD. Um, I would say it would have been nice if it was a double CD. Because Great White do so many amazing songs. Um, but this is only 86 to 92. So, and they could have filled two CDs up with the amount of quality material they do. Um, but yeah, if you can find that. Get that if you're not if you want to get into Great White. Get that. Um, ah. I would rate that as a greatest hit. I would rate that at an eight out of ten. Um, right, we're on to a different band now, and uh, this one is gonna be Kicks. Um, this is one of them original album series where the CDs are only in little slips of leaves, like that. Um, I've not listened to every single album. The first two albums I ever owned on cassette were um, the Hot Wire and Blow My Fuse, I think it was back then. But I definitely had Hot Wire first. Um, 
but I now have I now have uh, blow my fuse on vinyl. I don't have the other ones yet though. It's really hard to find those where I live um, by this band. I've never come across anybody else where I live that even know who this band are. Um, so uh, some people, people, whoever's watching this, will probably find that quite difficult to understand. But um, yeah, I'd say that where I live is a bit like a third world, um, a nice third world. We tend to get everything. We're about 25 years behind the UK uh, in terms of um, uh, everything. <laughs> we still get the same, we get the music released on the same day though, which is great. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Kicks. And uh, I would say that the sound quality of this album series is not up to scratch like um, the main CDs are. Um, I've got the Rat one of these. I've got the um, the Dokken, the Kicks, and I'm sure there's something else I've got, but I just cannot remember what it is right at this moment. Um, but if you can't afford um, and you're on a budget uh, and you want to buy all these albums, yes, they are expensive to buy singly, but um, you can probably pick this up for about ten to fifteen pound, or I don't know what it'd be in the U in the US, probably about twenty dollars or twenty five or whatever. But um, yeah, so um, really good band, and uh, yeah, worth checking out, especially uh, the song "Don't Close Your Eyes," and uh, yeah, really cool. Oh, and. Um, Walking Away, Midnight Dynamite, um, and Blow My Fuse. So yeah, really cool songs on there. Right, I'm not going to rate these. I'd say Blow My Fuse is my favourite um, album. <coughs> right, ah, here we go. I'm going to leave that one, actually. Right, Glass Tiger. All the way from Canada and uh, yeah this is a 1988 CD album um, this was uh, called, oh, that's a good start eh? throwing my stuff all around oh, that's it probably see my pants right um, Diamond Sun um, this is a great CD um, I would rate this um, a 7 out of 10. This is a great band, they do some great songs, but it is tends to be more of the pop rock and light rock, um, and a couple of a few songs that are bordering on the hard rock, but not it's, it's not really, um, they're not a heavy band, so but, um, yeah. And um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Check out the song they did with Rod Stewart. Put Glass Tiger and Rod Stewart in. And uh, they did one with him, um, which was My Town. And uh, that's not on there. My song is on that one, but not My Town. The song Diamond Son is amazing as well. Um, so check that out. Um, I would give that a seven out of ten. Um, then we got the first album that I bought of Glass Tiger, Simple Mission. This is from 1990. I bought it in about 93 time. Uh, this is um, because I'd seen their videos, a couple of their videos on um, I think it was War Power TV program in the UK. Um, and there was a little bit of an interview, uh, I think, yeah there was, I think there was. Um, but check out the song Blinded, Animal Heart was the single, um, One on One, um, My Town's on this one with uh, the one that 
they did with Rod Stewart. Um, but yeah, really good band. This is a lot, this is heavier than Diamond Sun. Um, a bit more rocky. Um, so, yeah, that is a cool, cool album. I would give that um, an 8 or 7.5 to 8 out of 10 for sure. Um, next one. Oh, I've got another Diamond Sun there. <laughs> um, where did my other. I've got another Glass Tiger album. I don't know where it's walked about. I've gone walkabout. Um, I've got this one. This is a um, the Thin Red Line Anniversary Edition. This is um, this is actually ah I thought this was the greatest hits, but it's actually the first album. Sorry, um, I don't know what I was thinking there, but yeah, this is the first Glass Tiger album, and um, this is the reissue with two discs, uh, loads of bonus tracks, and uh, there's the bonus tracks on there. This is. Um, there's some good songs on this. Um, I'd say m my favourite on here would be "You're What I Look Look For" and "Someday." They're very. This is more pop rock than the other two. Um, the other two albums are different to this for sure, in little ways. Um, but this is uh, this reissue came out in 2012. It's. Um, I think the original came out in '86. I can, uh, it comes out like that. Looks like a little uh, partial records there, white vinyl records. Oh my god, don't you just hate that when that happens? That's that's not the side that opens, <laughs> which I've just found out. Um, yeah, so double um, disc there. Oh my god. It's not sat in properly. Probably best. Oh god, my god! I pulled the actual le the little lever out. Oh, that's gone on the floor now. I'll pick that up in a sec. Right. So that is uh, the anniversary edition. That is um, still a really good record to listen to. So if you like very light rock pop, so. Ooh. Show my pants again, probably. Um, make sure I don't. No, that's good. I don't want my pants on YouTube. Um. <clears throat> right. Oh, I've just put that away. <laughs> Silly twit. Um, the next one. Somebody was talking about this band in the VC recently, and uh, we don't see much of the band in the VC. And uh, John Sykes used to be in it. So that's why I bought um, this CD. Um, but I only bought the best of. It's Tigers of Pantang. Um, when I first listened to this, there's a few songs that stood out to me. I enjoyed it. I played it quite a bit. I bought it in 90... Uh, in probably the early 2000s. But this one came out in 99. Uh, it's called The Best of Tigers of Pantang on the Prowl. Um, it's got 19 songs on here. Um, I think Mirror was w one of the songs that I really liked. Um, just said that. Uh, yeah, I can't remember if it was similar to the song Mirror Mirror by Def Leppard and it had that sort of feel but I, I don't know I don't think it I'm probably talking out my backside um so yeah if you're not sure about Tigers of Pantang check them out on YouTube or go out and buy this this is fairly cheap um I can't remember how much I paid back then but there's there's John Sykes just there but um yeah it's uh it's it's 18 songs you know it's you can get this for three or four quid it's got to be worth a listen but I would listen to the songs on YouTube or somewhere like that 
Um, to me, I would give that a... I don't know. It depends. It's really hard to, ch ch to... Because I don't listen to all the other... Al I've never listened to other albums. And I do have a Tigers of Pantang album on vinyl. Um, so... But I can't even remember what that one's called. Down there somewhere. Um, so I can't really compare... So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rate that. That would be quite unfair. Um, Steve Vai. How about this? I used to have this years and years ago on on C D. Um, and I actually got rid of it because I think Steve Vai is just you know, first time I experienced his stuff I thought, wow, that sounds amazing. And most people will say, yeah, he still sound he st does sound amazing, but I started getting bored of him, um, and uh, I don't mind what he did in White Snake, but um, on Slip of the Tongue. But um, I just want to hear him playing songs. Um, you know, normal song. Uh, I don't know. It, how the right words to say but you know for the love of god on there which is a song i'm not just saying that for the love of god um check that song out that's probably his best known song um and my probably my only favorite um song um on this cd um obviously he did he did a um, an album with um, Devin Townsend, and that was quite heavy. And I liked a few songs on that, but it wasn't. I don't know. After that, I bought a one, another. Was it in in the fire garden? And I was just like, nah, I can't be bothered with that anymore. It was just it's quite boring. Um, it's just widdly, 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 widdly too much. And I was just like, oh, frickin' Nora, can't be doing this anymore. So I got rid of the CD. And then later on, well, a couple of years ago, I thought, oh, no. I really would like to just have that CD in my collection for that one song. So if I found it in a charity shop for, like, 10 pence or 50 pence, I'd get it, and I did. So that's my um, replacement. I would, yeah, he's absolutely awesome on that, um, but I just got bored. Just, I like to have some vocals at some point in, in the song, um, just to keep it interesting. Um, right, this is a band that I never, I've never listened to, um, but I just got this. I think I got it given to me. And it's uh, New York Dolls, because um, I said so, which came out in two thousand and nine, um, and yeah, I've never listened to it, so I can't rate this. From what I've seen of maybe one song on YouTube, I don't think I'm going to actually get into them. Um, I don't know. I really don't know about this. So if anybody's heard this, let me know what you really think and uh, if it's really worth listening to. Um, but I don't know. We shall see. Um, and I'm going to do one more CD and that's it. Um, and same with this band. I've not listened to this band. Um, actually, no, I did put it on once. But I didn't get into it straight away. And it's the band Running Wild. This is the 20 years in history. And uh, I didn't pay £10 for it. I bought it at a record fair. Um, this was new. But the guy that was selling it um, had a shop. A record shop. And uh, this was old stock. And he was actually selling these for like a quid. And I was like, I'm getting that to listen to. Because... It's double CD, and I thought the artwork looked cool. Well, 
There it did. <laughs> well, no, on the CD it does. It's a bit. It is a bit bland in some areas, but um, I just thought double CD. Surely there's got to be a song on there I like. And the names of the songs were pretty cool. Prowling Werewolf. And I just thought, you know, put um, Lions of the Sea and Whirlwind and stuff like that and Fire Breather. And I just thought, well, I'm going to give that a listen. So, um, and if I don't like it, I will flog it. Uh, but I've had it sitting around for about four or five years and I've not given it a full listen all the way through so maybe today I might stick it on I might stick it on in a minute right um, and that's it for that video um, actually no I will um, shall I do I stick a couple more in yeah I will stick some more in right I'll just do this next one um, next three Twisted Sister that's a crack in the cover, don't worry. This is Lovers for Suckers. This is one that I'm not really into. Um, yeah, I do like their other stuff, but this is a bit too commercial and uh, the sound is just too, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't, there's no memorable songs on there for me. Not at all. Um, I don't. I, to be quite honest, I can't say. Um, I remember listening to it once, and I've got somebody had actually copied this for me a long time ago, and uh, then I managed to get this at a charity shop, and I thought I will give it a go. Just stick in my collection as well, and nah, I would only give that like a three or four out of ten. Didn't enjoy it. Um, then, oh, sure, I have more of their stuff. I've got some more stuff somewhere. Um, I know I've got more Twisted Sister somewhere else. I thought it was in this pile, but not. Um, but if you're going out to buy a Twisted Sister um, thing, CD, album, get the best of first and have a listen to this. Because it's got live stuff on there and then studio stuff. Um, I've got two of these because uh, I think I picked up the other one for like next to nothing. And it's in so much better nick than my original. So this is my original. Which is uh, not in the best of condition. But um, this one, oh, even this disc, even this disc is suffering with a little bit of CD rot up here. So I'm going to have to make sure I keep that clean. And this is a German pressing. What's this one? Oh, they're both German pressings. That's probably why. But usually the Germans build stuff to last. Obviously not in this case. Um, but yeah, this is... Um, this is, I would give this a, definitely a 7.5 to 8 out of 10 um, for, be, for a great, being a great best of. So, right, oh, I am going to leave the video at that and then do the, another video straight after because my lot upload time, my uploading takes ages if I go over this sort of time. So, cheers for watching keep rocking and uh, hope you um, check out some of those CDs um, for some reason I didn't do a big pile that time <laughs> see you later